what's up YouTube welcome to my first video so in today's video I'm going to show you how to whiten teeth in Photoshop actually I downloaded this image from the internet so I'll throw up the links in the description in case you want to follow along with this same image so with further ado let's get straight into the video The first step is to click on the adjustment layer. Now we can find the adjustment layer right down here. So let's click on the adjustment layer and select photo filter. That's the second step. The second step is to select the photo filter. So you find the photo filter here, you select it, and then you see it says warming filter right here. So you click on it and oh all these filters comes pre-installed with your photoshop so i'm pretty sure you have all these filters to go along with this tutorial so you select the cooling filter as you can see we have three cooling filters so you select the one which works best with your image so let's select the first one mm, let's see this one is very very nice as you can see the impact this has on the image it has made the teeth very white and very cool this looks pretty pretty nice so let's check out the before and after I think this one will work best with my image let's check out the second and the third photo cooling filter sorry here is the second one and here is the third one I think this one is a little too much so I'll go with the first one so here is the before and here is the after so let's move on to the next step the next step is to select the adjustment layer again by this time you select the curves from the adjustment layer so I can do it right here as you can see I have curves here or you can click on the adjustment layer and select curves so you make a dot in the middle of this line this line right here you make a dot in the middle so you make a dot right here and then you hold it and drag it up as I'm pulling it up as you can see the highlights it's really really popping up so I think right here is cool let's check the before and after oh this one is really nice so let's move on to the next step the next step is to invert the photo filter layer what the inversion does is it hides all the select sorry it hides all what is on the photo filter with a black you know it will paint this this selection area black so that it hides all the filter so that you can brush with a brush tool you can brush and reveal the part that you want so you can do this by hitting ctrl plus i as you can see it has made this box right here black and it has hidden the, 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 the settings on the photo filter so as you can see the picture you can see no difference here is the before and here is the after as you can see the picture still remains the same so the next step is to select the curves layer and you know right click on it you right click on the curves layer and then you create a clipping mask this clipping mask attaches the curves layer to the photo filter so you right click on the curves layer and then you create a clipping mask so as you can see this arrow right here shows that the curves layer has been clipped to the photo filter so let's put all this in a group and name it The 
next step is to select this photo filter is to select the photo filter sorry this is my first video so I'm finding it a little bit difficult you select the photo filter and then you select make sure this black box is selected not this make sure this black box is selected so when the black box is selected you go ahead and then select your brush make sure you select a very soft rounded brush like the one I'm using here so you select this one and then you start brushing on the teeth sorry make sure the brush the foreground color is selected to white the foreground color so let's click right here and select white as the foreground color now let's start brushing on the teeth let's zoom in a little bit as you can see as I brush on the teeth it's making it white and this looks very natural this is the reason why I like this technique compared to other techniques I'm not saying other techniques are not are not good they are nice this wasn't the first ever technique I used I've tried several techniques but this one is my favorite because this one looks very natural and you think if you think it's a little too much you can just come to the opacity right here and dial it down a little bit so let's brush on the teeth let's keep brushing keep brushing let's keep brushing to make this video very short for you guys I'm not going to you know brush over all the teeth I'm going to just do this side just to show you how this thing works this is really really nice this is really really nice I like this we've made a very significant change we showing you the before and after in a bit so make sure you brush it very nice and gentle so wow look this is the before this is the after this is the before this is the after as you can see the teeth is very very white and it's very nice you can use this technique in almost every picture like every picture not even almost every picture so what we are going to do next is to use a very typical picture so we are going to go move on to this picture I showed this picture last year, somewhere last year, a very long time ago. So as you can see from this picture, the teeth is very brown. So we are going to use this same formula to whiten the teeth. So let's copy this. Let's copy this, you know, folder and place it on this picture foreground color is white then you start brushing start brushing this one is a very practical picture these are some of the cases or instances I find myself using this technique when I show this picture I will be doing a tutorial video with this picture so as you can see this has really made a teeth bright this is the before this is the after if it's too much for you you can always come to the opacity right here and you know dial it down so this is the before and this is the after after so thanks you guys for watching this video 
thank you guys for watching this video if you find this video useful make sure you subscribe to my channel to help my channel grow and also make sure to like this video if you find this video useful i'm trying my best to put up great content like this for you each and every week so make sure you subscribe and turn on the post notification so that you get notified anytime i put up a new video thanks for watching and see you in my next behind the scenes or photoshop tutorial peace